Oh, hello, great readers. I'm Bo Chen. I'm Nimikum. I'm Van Chan. In this class, I'll read all of you a part of Ulysses. Bess. L. Ulysses. James Joyce. Chava. Twelve sec one. I was just passing the time of day with old Troy of the D. P. At the corner of our hill there and be damned, but a bloody sweep came. All and he near drove his gear into my eye. I turned around to let him have the weight of my tongue when he should. I see dodging along stony better only Joe Hines. Lo. Joe. Says I. How are you blowing? Did you see that bloody chimney sweep near shove my eye out with his brush? Said Sloth. Says Joe. Who's the old box you were talking to? Old tree. Says I. Was in the force. I'm on two minds not to give that fellow in church for obstructing the thoroughfare. With his brooms and letters. What are you doing around those bricks? Says Joe. Devil a much. Says I. There's a bloody big foxy thief beyond by the garrison church at the corner of. Chicken Laney old Troy was just giving me a wrinkle about him left any god's quantity of. Tea and sugar to be three bob a week said he had a farm in. The county town of a hop of my thumb by the name of Moses has a cover there near. Heightsbury Street. Circumcised. Says Joe. Says I. A bit off the top. An old plumber named Gerity. I'm hanging on to his turn for the password night and I can't get a penny out of him. That the lay you are now. Says Joe. Says I. How are the mighty fallen? Collector of bad and doubtful debts. But that's the most notorious bloody robber you'd meet in a day's walk in there. Face on him all pockmarks would hold a share of rain. Tell him. Says he. I dare him. Says he. And I doubt to him to send you round here again or if he does. Says he. I'll have him summoned up before the court. So I will. For trading without a license. And he after stuffing himself till he's fit to burst. Jesus. I had to laugh at the little G getting his shirt out. He drink me my teas. He eat me my sugars. Because he no pay me my monies. For non perishable goods bought of Moses Herzog. Of 13 sink of Inns Parade in the city of Dublin. Wood keyword. Merchant. Harry Nifter called the vendor and sold and delivered to Michael Lee. 
charity is Choir of 29 Arbor Hill in the city of Dublin. Arnke Ward. Gentleman. Harry enough to call the purchaser. Fidelist. Five pounds of Rudu Poison first truce tea at three shillings and no pence per pound. A Rudu Poison three stone of Rudu Poison sugar. Crushed crystals. At three pence per pound of Rudu Poison. The said purchaser ditto to the said vendor of one pound five shillings and sixpence. Sterling for value received, which a man shall be paid by said purchaser to said vendor. In weekly instalments of seven calendar days of three shillings and no pence sterling, and the said non perishable goods shall not be pawned or pledged or sold or otherwise alienated by the said purchaser, but shall be and remain and be held to be there sole and exclusive property of the said vendor to be disposed of at his good will and pleasure until the said amount shall have been duly paid by the said purchaser to the said vendor in the manner herein set forth as this day hereby agree between the said vendor his heirs successors trustees and assigns of the one part in the said purchaser his heirs successors Trustees and the signs of the other part. Are you a strict? Says Joe. Not taking anything between drinks. Says I. What about paying our respects to our friend? Says Joe. Boo. Says I. Sure. He's out in John of God's off his head. Poor man. Drinking his own stuff. Says Joe. And. Says I. Whiskey and water on the brain. Come around to Barney Kynan's, says Joe. I want to see the citizen. Barney Mavernin's be it, says I. Anything strange or wonderful, Joe? Not a word, says Joe. I was up at that meeting in the city arms. What was that, Joe? Says I. Cattle traders, says Joe. About the foot and mouth disease. I want to give the citizen the hard word about it. So we went around by the line in Holbrooks and the back of the courthouse talking. Of one thing or another. Decent fellow Joe when he has it but sure like that he never has it. Jesus. I couldn't get over that bloody foxy charity. The daylight robber. For trading without a license, says he. In Ennisfield, fair there lies a land, the land of Holy Mitchin. There rises a watchtower held of Menifar. There sleep the mighty dead as in life they slept, warriors and princes of High Renan. A pleasant line it is in sooth of murmuring waters. Fishful streams where sport the garnered. The place. The root. The halibut. The gitaddock. 
The Grills. The Debt. The Brill. The Flounder. The Pollock. The Mex Gorse Fish Ginnelly and other denizens of the Equus Kingdom to Numerista. The Enumerated. In the mild breezes of the west and of the east the lofty trees wave. In different directions their first cast foliage. The wafty sycamore. The Lebanonian cedar. The exalted planetary. The eugenic eucalyptus and other ornaments of the arboreal world with which that region is. Thoroughly well supplied. Lovely maidens sit in close proximity to the roots of the lovely trees singing there. Most lovely songs while they play with all kinds of lovely objects as for example Golden ingots Silvery fishes Crowns of herrings Drafts of eels Codlings Creels of fingerlings Purple sea gems and playful insects And heroes voyage from afar to woo them from Ibuna to Sleeve Margie, the palest princes of Unfitted Munster and of Connacht the Just and of Smith's Leek, Linster and of Crichton's Land and of Arma the Splendid and of the Noble District, of Boyle, Princes, the Sons of Kings, and there rises a shining palace whose crystal glittering roof is seen by mariners who traverse the extensive sea and barks both expressly for that purpose. And thither come all herds and fatlings and first fruits of that land for O'Connell fishermen. Takes toll of them. A chieftain descended from chieftains. Thither the extremely large wains bring fissin of the fields. Flaskets of cauliflowers. Floats of spinach. Pineapple chunks. Rangoon beans, strikes of tomatoes, germs of figs, trills of swedes, spherical potatoes and tulls of iridescent kale, york and savoy, and trays of onions, curls of the earth, and punnets of mushrooms and custard marrows and fat veches and burr and rape and Red, green, yellow, brown, recess, sweet, big, bitter, ripe, pomelated apples and chips of strawberries. And sieves of gooseberries. Pulpy and pilarious. And strawberries fit for princes and raspberries from their canes. I dare him. Says he. And I double dare him. Come out here. Gerati. You notorious Bloody Hill and Dale Robber. To be continued.